This is not something. that happened to somebody else. This is something that happened to us. Look around in this room. Is this good for anybody? Is this good for the press? Is this what you want to be focusing on? The details of this kind of thing? Is this good for our public safety officers that had to respond in a situation using something I am sure they don't want to have to use deadly force. Is this good for the people who are at the bus station? Is this good for the three people that were shot? Is this good for the son of Anthony Oliver and his family? No. As a community, this is not good for us. So what do we need to do about it? I believe there's a couple things. One perhaps a little smaller, but the other one bigger. Maybe the smaller one, not so small, is that we need to make sure in our community, as we talk to each other, in our friends, and we have those community conversations, those family conversations, that we destigmatize mental health services. There is nothing wrong with encouraging a family member or a friend to say, hey, I think you need some help. I will do everything I can to get you to that help. And I will suggest that that needs to occur for everybody who was part of this event. I'm gonna say for public safety, I hope you're getting the support that you need. This is not something you're gonna forget being part of this for the people who were there, for the family members, for the families of people that were shot. Let's make sure we take advantage of that support. That support can happen from our faith community, can happen from our mental health community. Let's make sure that we're together for each other. Let's make sure that the ripples from this, that trust me, are gonna go on and on that we try to stop those ripples as much as we can. And then the other thing which is bigger is that I know it's our job to talk about things and get very specific about it's a very specific event and ask something what exactly did happen here. But in the grander scheme of things, we need to be creating a world of hope not nihilism, not the trajectory of things are just getting worse. And that's what we're focusing on. We together have to be beacons of that hope for each other so that people don't feel like this is all that's in front of me. This is the only choice I have. And that is a huge cultural change in my opinion right now and if we don't individually take responsibility we will not change the tra the trajectory sorry this is important let's treat it as important and let's do individual big things when we involve when we're involved in a situation like this to head off these kinds of events in the future and give those of us who we live with in this time hope for their own futures.